Hello, my Leo family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly tarot reading for you, Leo, for September 7th through the 13th. Thank you for joining me today. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. Now, always a reminder, these are general readings. For the Leos that desire a more personalized reading that will resonate to your life and birth sign, click on my website link below. I provide an extensive tarot card reading, which includes crystals, oracle messages, numerology, and a Mystic Door Tarot original smoke card reading. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating this week. Okay, Leo. So you're starting off your reading with the King of Cups. Now, as an individual, this could be a Scorpio, as this is Scorpio's card. This could be someone currently in your life or soon will be. And the King of Cups is someone who is wise, more mature, a wonderful counselor. Possibly this is someone who is giving you advice in regards to a legal matter. You can often find the King of Cups in some type of legal guidance counselor position. Now the King of Cups is a good listener, very understanding. This is someone who puts you at ease to spill your heart out to so for some Leos, this could represent your partner or someone you work with, possibly a friend or a family member. But my guides are indicating that this person is showing up to offer advice and support. Now this could be in regards to a relationship or something that you're working on, Leo. But it is something that is very important to you. And looking at your card here, Leo, the king here is to help you with your future endeavors as he is facing towards your future. Now, taking a look at your next card, Leo, you have the three of pentacles. Well, with this card showing up, you might have the king of cups taking a look at what you're currently working on. The Three of Pentacles is an indication of a job well done. Your talents are getting noticed, Leo. You've been working hard on something in your life, and this is the time to stop and review things so far. And that's where the King of Cups can come in. This is someone you trust, Leo. And whatever this is that you're working on, the King of Cups is giving you advice and support. Along with others. Since the Three of Pentacles indicates that something is beginning to manifest for you, Leo. People are coming together to make something happen with this particular card showing up. This is just the beginning though, Leo. So this could be a project or hobby that you started or maybe a new business where you're going to use your skills to make a profit and a living. This could also be the beginning of a new friendship or relationship coming together. Whatever this card here is referring to, Leo, the intentions you have sent into the universe are beginning to come to fruition. Now, the Three of Pentacles indicates teamwork. So there could be others working with you or for you. Now, these can be professionals or mentors that are assessing your work at this time. Be patient, Leo, no matter what the advice is. Something said this week can prove to be very beneficial later on. Now, this card here is actually Capricorn's energy, very practical, determined, focused. So whether this is in regards to an individual that you are pursuing or pertaining to a project that you're working on, you need to assess if this fits into your long-term plans, Leo, the number three energy of this card is new beginnings. 
something is starting to come together to become something new. Taking a look at your next card, Leo, you have the Seven of Swords. Now, the first message coming through is that you're keeping something that you're working on hidden or to yourself. And the Seven of Swords is precisely all about that. You are researching, gathering information, whether this pertains to an individual or a project that you're working on, you are collecting things needed in order for you to move ahead with your plans or goals for your future. Now, the energy that I'm picking up is not a dishonest one, as this card can usually suggest. Usually seeking, sneakiness, negative energy, that's not what I'm picking up. Rather, this is you, Leo, doing something totally unexpected. And the number seven energy of this card is dealing with forces that are beyond your control. But you are strong, Leo. You persevere and use your inner strength to get you through the hurdles. Now, the number seven is associated with the crown chakra, and that is the chakra of knowing, your connection with the divine. You are working spiritually with your co-partnership with spirit which is providing the guidance needed to achieve the results you seek. Now, your three-card spread adds up to number 11. That is a master number, Leo. Very powerful. This numerology for your reading is bringing this incredible energy of higher intuition and spiritual insight to you this week. You could experience some supernatural abilities as well as your natural intelligence will just be soaring this week, Leo. You start off with the support and guidance from the King of Cups, someone you trust to point you or reassure you and then point you in the right direction. And the Three of Pentacles showing up is indicating that your gifts and talents are getting noticed. You're at the beginning of something new. And with the Seven of Swords, you're gathering information and possibly individuals to help you achieve your goals. This activity will be unexpected and surprising to others when revealed. Now let's take a look at which crystal is suggested this week. Chiastolite. Well, Chiastolite is a very specific crystal, so this might not resonate with all Leos out there. This is showing up for the Leos who possibly have lost someone close to them. And your angels and guides have suggested this crystal to help calm and soothe you, Leo. The energy of Chiastolite can help you to understand and communicate with your past loved ones. Know that your loved ones want to communicate with you, to let you know they are okay. They don't want you to worry or continue to be sad, Leo. So open up your heart and mind to receive messages to verify this message. This can be in the form of nature-based signs, birds, butterflies, small animals coming up to you, being unusually close and grabbing your attention. And know that your connection to your past loved ones is intact. It's just in a different form. And their love for you, Leo, is eternal. And Chiastolite can help you this week with such connections. So this crystal and message will resonate with only a few Leos this week. But let's see what your angel answer message is this week. Let go. For some Leos, the time has come to let go of a certain situation. Stop focusing on how or when it will be solved. Relationships that are unhealthy or unfulfilling should be released, Leo, if this pertains to you, in order to allow something better to come along. The key to manifesting your desires, Leo, is to ask for what you want 
and then to just release it to spirit. This card is indicating that you might be holding on too tightly to the way your dreams will unfold. Just make a wish and leave the rest to spirit. Now, your cards here in numerology are indicating a major spiritual connection this week. Be sure to follow your intuition. And I leave you with the message of the cards, Leo, but it is all within your own hands. You decide your own destiny, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for an extended tarot reading and more, contact me through my website link below. Love and abundance to my Leo family.